Good morning. Um, how many of you wake up sometimes and just trying to figure it all out? Like, you think that you've come so far, like, and you can see it. You can you can look back over things and and you can see how far um, you have come. But then you also can see how far you have left to go. And you don't know how much time you have to do that. And you just want to enjoy life. But it's all these obstacles and barricades that seem to be placed in front of you and you always trying to see if you have to go over them if you have to find a way under them around them or just go a whole total new direction because some of these things you just can't get around go over go under you just have to turn in it and it, and it hurts you like This morning I woke up and you see I'm still in my night clothes um, and I was just feeling some type of way and I can't shake it so I you know I was glad to have to take ginger out and then I was like oh it's such a, a cool day you know I haven't had a cool day like this for a long time here at home and I'm like I needed this breeze and it's just a sign that things can change at the drop of a dime because it was just hot yesterday morning when I opened the door it was hot and humid and today is just this cool breeze and I thought about sitting down in front of this phone camera in the house and I was like no I'm gonna go outside and just Sit in my car with the door open. I just don't understand today how I have to continue to understand that in life. You can't be happy all the time. And then even in those midst of happiness, there's always something that's there that, that you're not happy about but you just try to focus on um, what makes you happy. You know, what is making you happy at that time. I'm just looking over like my life, my family, my friends, my relationships with anybody that I've I come into contact with. Um, decisions I've made in the past, decisions um, that I've made that were good for for what I'm where I'm at now and decisions that I've made that uh, are not good, <laughs> that were not good, and decisions that I'll make today, tomorrow, and the next day. It's funny that I'm, I don't know, like, even everything that's going on and you know in other parts of the world israel um palestine palestine and uh jada pinkett smith it's so much like wow i'm it's so much other stuff that's going on um it's getting you know it's nationalized it's getting so much attention and i'm like i'm just a little little piece a little grain and so many other things are worse than me and I'm I'm drowning in some things then I'm like you know what my pain is pain it's my pain it's okay but then how far do you go with expressing your pain to the world to those that are gonna you know watch this and 
like, what do you do? For me, what I have to do is to move past it, I have to talk about it. I have to, I, whether I share this video, there's many videos that I make that I don't share. I just do it because that's, I have to get it out. I write stuff down, I do videos, I cry. I have two friends that I, that I believe I can express it to, but then I don't try to do that too much because I've been blackballed and hurt in the past from people that I thought were my friends. I even thought about one this morning that I thought was cool. I've had financial woes in the past, um, big time. And I'll never forget one person gave me a grand. I'll never forget, I bragged about it. I talked about it to other people. I couldn't believe that she did this. And then one day, after I moved to Florida and I got my home, I got a call and and I was told that that was a loan. That friendship, family ship broke because first of all, the person that I was still then, I got a little angry. I'm like, what the hell? Like, and I replayed it in my head. I called a few people up that I had told about it when when this money was given to me. And it was like, yeah, I remember you, you know, the people was like, yeah, you bragged about it. Like, you couldn't believe it. And then now I'm being told that this was a loan. Could I have given the money back? Yeah, I could have at that time. I was in a better space, in a better place. But it was the principle of it that I know I've, it's, it's been times in life that like somebody has given, loaned me something and I didn't give it back. Like my mom, uh, it's been uh, another person, one of my mom's friends, um, I, you know, of course, debtors. <laughs> done all that but um i never done that with a a a friend like if a friend has loaned me something if i've asked a friend to loan me something i've given it back like that is something that i regret to this day even accepting something from someone um, that was a stinger and I, I still think about it um, maybe every nine months <laughs> I'll be like what the hell um, but get past that that's why I don't know it's, it's weird Then my family is so much that goes on. Like, they talk about you behind your back. They say one thing to you, and then they say another to someone else. They want you to act like you can, can trust them with anything, and then they 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 backpedal and and want everyone to like them so they will do what they have to do to play the fields of everyone and it, it's it's bad and and when you have that type of stuff with those that you love and that you think got your back you feel alone and that's where I'm still at. Like, 
how can I be uh, married, a mother of six, an only child of your mother's, and you still feel alone? Well, I do. And you ask yourself, as much as you read, as much as you've given so much insight and been truthful with yourself, what do you do? It's, I'm still asking myself, what else can I do to get past this long standing stage of loneliness? I can't keep eating myself to death. I'm going to be 300 pounds soon if I. Uh, don't stop that because that's my habit. Eating. Thank God I don't do drugs. Thank God I'm not an alcoholic. Thank God I'm not out here just doing other things. But at the same time, I eat. I spend money, more money than, than I have. Um, I uh make decisions like I don't I don't put up with people things that I don't feel as though I have to so I'll walk away from a job in a snap of a a finger because if I don't have to put up with it I'm not and then the end I uh fuck it up for myself because no job you ain't got no money. No money. You struggling to pay these bills. And I ask myself. What do you have to do. To make better decisions. I know what I'm not going to think about again or I'm not going to do or attempt and that is to kill myself but on some things I'm going to have to walk away and don't look back and it doesn't matter who it is what it is or how I got to do it but I know that in the end, I'm going to have to walk away from a few things. One thing I can say is that me being transparent will is helping me. Some things seem a little embarrassing. Um, but who cares about embarrassment when it's your fucking life? Keep pretending. Pretending is old. I don't get paid. I'm not an actress. You'd be surprised that the closest people to you can be your worst enemies. And guess what? It hurts.
that book I wrote, the only reason that it wasn't published, I didn't have it published, was because I still care about the people that hurt me Believe in the Masquerade was more than just about my pain from being abused, sexually abused as a child. It has so much more in there. And I had childhood trauma beyond the sexual abuse. I had trauma as an adult. And a lot of these things that I've accepted as an adult, it was because I felt that it was acceptable I always try to save other people and not myself in the process. Some of the people that I should have saved, I hurt. Um, it's a lot. That book could have helped a lot of people, I think. It really could have. People that I don't know. Anybody that have picked it up, I know they would have felt the pain and some of them would have understood that they need to make changes as well to be better people. It helped me. I'm definitely a better person after putting it all on paper. I rid myself a lot of self-doubt about myself. At the same time, the healing has caused other pain because the realization of what's around me who I surround myself with why the what ifs perfectionism No such thing. Can't be perfect. But god damn it, I can be better. One day, I will be.